Are you the best footballer in the world right now? I think so, yes. In my mind, I'm always the best. I don't care what the people are thinking, what they say. In my mind, not just this year, but always, I'm always the best. I'm always going to say that. I knew, I knew, I knew what was going to happen. I knew I was going to get here. They didn't. It was a lot of stressful years. You know what I mean? A lot of tough times. Um, but I proved them wrong. I proved myself right. You need to bet on your strengths and don't give a f about what you suck at. If you want this, if you want bling bling, if you want to buy the jets, if you want to do shit, work. When I look around, I always learn something, and that is to be always yourself and to express yourself, to have faith in yourself. Do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate him. I feel I still have room to improve. I still set goals for myself to strive for. Uh, I'm never complacent with what I've achieved. Uh, even though it's been very successful for me, I still feel I have a lot to prove. Ben Graham in his low, in his low teens looked around and he looked at the people he admired and he said, you know, I want to be admired so why don't I just behave like them? And he found there was nothing impossible about behaving like them. If you're doing anything interesting in the world, you're going to have critics. The only way, if you absolutely can't tolerate critics, then don't do anything new or interesting. I would just say, go stand on a street corner and watch in a crowded urban area and watch all the people walk by and think about what they're thinking about. I bet you none of those people are thinking about you. After years of repetitive work, you will often need to dig hard to find your passions, redefine your dreams, and revive hobbies that you let atrophy to near extinction. You think someone's going to come to you and give you uh, a highlighted version, script on how to live your life? And if that was the case, would you even go that way? How boring is that? It's the unknown about to be that gets me up in the morning. It's always a challenge. And as soon as a challenge is lost, guys, your will is dead. There's no reason to get up in the morning. There are a million reasons why not, but there's one great reason why. Because before it was luck, it was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning, by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. Then I mastered it. No, I remastered and remastered in hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Start to finish a blueprint that every single module inside of it you create, you own. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. You don't just live in life. You change it. You make your mark upon it. Strive to find your own voice. Because the longer you wait to begin, the less likely you are to find it at all. Thoreau said most men lead lives of quiet desperation. Don't be resigned to that. Break out. It's not about being rational. It's about following your heart. You must be imaginative, strong-hearted. You must try things that may not work. And you must not let anyone define your limits because of where you come from.